Hey, how's it going guys? This is 1FO here. Today I'm going to be showing you an updated version of my old exploit, how to make an exploit video. So if you guys are coming from that old video, I'm going to make a part 3 to that pretty soon. But this is going to be the easiest possible way to make a Roblox exploit. Updated too, so if you guys want to see this, just stay tuned. And yeah. So when you first get the link in the description, you're going to see this folder. It's going to be in the description, it has all the codes all the DLLs, all the scripts, basically everything you need to make it. And then I'm also going to have a link to Visual Studio, which is the tool we'll be using to actually make it. So once you've downloaded that, just type Visual Studio Installer, open the installer. And when you first downloaded it, it should look like this. You'll see it's going to load. It's going to look like this. It's going to ask you everything you want to install. So scroll down until you see desktop and mobile click .NET Desktop Development, only check this box. Don't check anything else, just this one. And then click Install, and then click Close once it's installed actually. Come over here, open your Visual Studio again, let it load, and over here click Create New Project. Once this loads, come over here, type Windows Forms App, so Windows Forms App. And you'll see the first or second one, it should be somewhere around here. It says Windows Forms App .NET Framework. So don't do .NET Core, don't do any of these, just this one. Click it, click Next, and then this is where you need to come up with a name. So I'm just going to do for this example, I'm going to be naming it YTEXE. Just like YT Executor. And then I'm going to click Create. Let this load shouldn't take too long so here it is and then once it's loaded click on this white space in the background come over to back color and this is the first thing you want to do is just make this back color something that looks nice to you I want to make it a dark gray you could do whatever you want and then come over here scroll down make the form name so right click this form 1.cs in the solution explorer right click this click rename and name this whatever you want. So I'm going to do YTEXE, which is the name of my exploit. So click yes. And then boom, it's loaded. So now you can come down here, go to form border style and change this to none. So now that this is none, you could resize this however you want. You could be creative here. You don't need to copy what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do this. That looks decent, I guess. So I'm going to keep it like that. And then once you have this done, come over to your toolbox so if you don't know where toolbox is click view and then click toolbox or do Control alt x so once you open your toolbox come over here type panel so p-a-n-e-l drag it on here drag it right onto your form and then you could just size this however you want i'm going to put it like right around here at the top i think that looks nice and that looks good. You guys don't need to copy everything I do in this tutorial. It's just an example of what you could do, just giving you some ideas. So once you're done with that, change your panel color to whatever you want. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. And then now you need your labels. So I'm gonna do label, drag one label here, that's gonna be your logo. Drag another label here, that's gonna be the title. So first click on your uh, label one, which is gonna be your logo. Make the four colors something bright that people can see. So I'm going to do red. And then make the font about like 22 and bold. Pretty easy to see if it's that big. And then come over here. And then just put whatever you want for your logo. I'm going to do YT. I think that looks nice. Come over here to the top again. Go to border style. Make it fixed single. So it kind of looks like a logo. And then once that's done, I think that looks nice. And then once it's done, come over here to your second label over there and then type the name of your exploit. So I'm gonna do YT example v1.0.0a. So that looks nice. Come over here, pick a color. I'm gonna do white. And then you could do whatever you want here. I'm just doing something random. I think that looks nice and then once that's done you're gonna need your buttons so come over here to your toolbox search button and you're gonna need eight buttons so put one here do 
control C and then control V seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we have eight buttons and you're just gonna want to come over here, make some buttons. So I'm gonna have one like this. I'm just gonna make, you need four buttons on the left. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, and then two buttons on the right. Oops. So two buttons on the right. I think these are actually a bit big. You guys could skip this part of the video if you want. I'm just designing some stuff. So one, two, three. If you want to copy me, you can copy this, but you don't need to. Okay, that looks decent. And then you're going to need two buttons for your close and minimize. So make some tiny boxes here. One there and one here. That looks decent. You could delete all your extra buttons if you have some. And now we need to name the buttons just to make this a bit easier. So name your first button. Execute. Name your second button. Clear. Name your third button. Open file. Make your fourth button. Save file. And then make these two. Make it refresh. And then make this one attach. You could also make this one say inject or something, but I just like attach. And then for this one, name it hyphen or dash. And make this one an X. So pretty self-explanatory. This is minimize, this is close, and everything else you guys probably already know. So once that's done, come over here to your toolbox, search button again. But this time, instead of actually putting in a button, you want to right click this blank space. So some people were confused on this last time. Type button in this blank space, right click it, click choose items. Once this loads, it's going to take a while to load if it's the first time click browse and then come over here scroll down to fast colored text box .dll, click this once click open and once it's highlighted blue like that click OK and now if you type fast in this box you'll see fast colored text box so now it just looks pretty cool it's it doesn't actually do anything different than a normal text box would but it just looks a lot better so once you have this in your exploit you just want to resize it however you want. You don't need to copy me again. So that looks fine. And then once you're done with that, come back over here, type list box. This is going to be where your script list goes. So resize this again however you want. But before you do that, make sure you turn off the border style. So border style should be none. And then you could resize this any way you want. I'm going to make mine kind of like this. I think that looks nice. I'm going to actually make these buttons a bit bigger. Again, you guys don't need to copy this. But it won't hurt if you do. Okay, that looks fine. So now once you're done with all your buttons and your list box, you can color it. So I'm going to make this one like 30 comma 30 comma 30. I just want to make it pretty dark. You want to make sure this color over here contrasts with white because the text color is going to be white. Then come over here to list box and make it the same color as your text box. And now you can change the four color of the font right here to white and do the same thing for this one. So you could do whatever color you want here. I just like making it white because it's really easy to read. So then if you scroll down when you click this text box, you'll see indent back color. You just want to make this any color you want again. And then right below it, you'll see language, make this Lua. So now you're done with this pretty much. All you want to do is scroll up to the top again and put your text here. So I'm going to do dash dash. You need to put dash dash there because it makes sure people can't execute it. Do made by 1FO dash dash version 1.0.0 so that looks nice and now that you're done with all your buttons and everything pretty much all you need to do is come over here to the folder type uh, open the codes thing come over to panel dash draggable copy this mouse down code and then come over here click on your panel on this blank space right here click the panel click the lightning bolt for events scroll down until you see mouse down 
double click this box right here just follow along with what i'm doing paste your code here you're gonna see an error there don't worry it's not a real error we'll fix it soon come over here again click the panel scroll down go to mouse move double click this and then just do the same thing you did for mouse down put your mouse move code right there and now copy this right here the variable which is point last point scroll up until you see initialize component and just put it right below that so now all your errors are gone pretty easy to fix that and now now that we're done with that you just want to come over here go to api scripts and actually before we do this come over here to the solution explorer which if you don't know how to get there click view and then do solution explorer which is Control alt l and then over here just right click references right here right click references do add reference click browse and then do easy exploits.dll so this is going to be in the tutorial folder easy exploits.dll that's the api click ok and then once you clicked ok you're pretty much ready to go so just double click the execute button right here come over here to api scripts and then copy this code right below the word execute and paste it right there so you're going to get an error again i'm going to show you how to fix that so copy the first code first scroll up to the top where it says public partial class click right here click enter just copy what i'm doing paste it there and your error is gone now go back here to the design page double click attach and do the same thing if i'm going a bit too fast you guys could skip back in the video um so as you can see we're pretty much almost done already come over here to the codes page go to open file copy this do the same thing you did go to open file double click it paste it here this time you're going to get an error just right click the word file click the light bulb and click using system.io so pretty simple the error is fixed and then you're going to need to do the same thing for save file so open up the save file double click save file you shouldn't get any errors okay perfect so now come over here to the next one which is called function and list box so open this uh highlight refresh all this code right here double click the refresh box the refresh button i mean paste it here again you should you should get like two errors but we're gonna fix that right now so come over here highlight all this code below functions come over here to the same thing over here solution explorer but this time click this c sharp icon right next to your exploits name so click that icon we'll right click it actually that's what i meant click add class and you need to make sure you follow this so delete class one and type functions you can't make a typo here it needs to be f-u-n-c-t-i-o-n-s functions click add click over here click enter then paste it so you shouldn't really have any errors now they should all be fixed but now you just need to right click this again click the light bulb click using system windows forms and then the same thing over here click right right click directory info click the light bulb click using system.io so all your errors are gone so don't get scared if you see errors because i'm going to show you how to fix them all then the next thing you want to do is come over here highlight list box double click the actual list box over here so double click it paste your code here you shouldn't have any errors now come over here this is what you need to do first click open file bin debug and then open up your folder again and just copy and paste this right into this folder so i'm just going to paste it here boom there it is and now that you have that there we're pretty much ready to go so just double click this blank space in between buttons so this blank space right here double click it it should say your exploit name and then underscore load so come back here go to codes go to function and list box and do the same code you did for refresh and put it right there so you're pretty much done now all you need to do now is fix the panel stuff up here so basically come over here go to 
close and minimize, highlight application.exit, double click the X button, paste it here, do the same thing for minimize, so just copy this, paste it there, and I think we're pretty much done now. So this is pretty much all you need to do to do this, it's really really easy. I'm just going to join up into a game really quickly and show you how it's working. So just click start to test it. You shouldn't get any errors here if you followed it correctly. And then boom, here it is. So you can drag it around. You can, you can see it says over here, this is going to be your exploit. And then if you come over here, boom. So you click clear. Oh, I guess I actually forgot to do the clear button. So that's why you always need to test it. So I forgot to do the clear button, double click clear, type over here, fast colored text box one dot clear. And you need to make sure that's a capital C, do parentheses, semicolon. So your errors are fixed now, so we know we have clear, we have execute, we have open file, save file, we have refresh, minimize. So now that it's all done, we know everything is done now, you come over here, click build, click build solution it's gonna load and then boom now that it's done we know it's done come over here type go to your desktop and type over here repos so you'll see right here repos you're gonna look down try to find your exploit so I think I named this one so right here ytexe I just found it drag this onto your desktop or actually you could just leave it there but whatever so drag this onto your desktop open up bin debug just do what I'm doing so open up ytexe or just whatever you named it bin and then drag the debug folder right onto your desktop so you can put this back wherever you want um, I'm actually gonna put it back into the repos folder so like this repository and then open up your debug folder so you just need to do what I'm gonna do right now delete config delete pdb and you're pretty much done now so you can rename this folder to whatever you want but as you can see you open this and there's your exploit so you can send this off to your friends do whatever you want to do with it and it's pretty much done now so i hope you guys liked this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you can that part three is going to be coming out pretty pretty soon in about a week or so so stay tuned for that and I'm also going to be doing a part 2 to this updated tutorial. And before I do that, let's show you how it works in a game. Okay, so I'm rejoining into this game. I'm just going to open up the exploit. And as you can see, it's loaded. So I'm just going to click attach. Let it load. And then once it's loaded, you can come over here. Paste in your script. So I'm going to be using a build a boat for treasure GUI. Click execute. And boom, there it is. So I really hope you guys like this. Um, that's going to be the end of the tutorial for today, so leave a comment if you liked it, like the video, and yeah, peace.